Hello and welcome back to the Dividend Experiment, the channel that helps you build a portfolio that pays your bills. The content that we discuss is intended for information and educational purposes only and should not be considered investment advice or investment recommendation. Remember that past performance does not guarantee future results. There are countless investors seeking an investment portfolio that strikes a harmonious balance between growth, income and security. In this series we'll explore stocks that meet specific dividend criteria. In today's video we'll be focusing on dividend aristocrats again, but this time we'll be looking at them from the perspective of the UK. What are UK dividend aristocrats? The eligibility of dividend aristocrat status for the UK is a much lower threshold than its US counterpart. Here is the S&P Global Requirement Eligibility for UK Dividend Aristocrats. To be considered a part of the S&P UK High Yield UK Dividend Aristocrats Index, a company must meet certain requirements during the index's rebalancing. First, the company needs to be listed on the London Stock Exchange in British Pounds and should be a constituent of the United Kingdom BMI. In addition to that, the company must have a strong history of paying dividends. This means they should have either increased their dividends or kept them stable for at least seven consecutive years. The analysis looks at the calendar years and ex-dividend dates, with the year ending in May. Financially, the company should have a maximum dividend payout ratio of 100% for new members, and existing members should have a non-negative dividend payout ratio. A dividend payout ratio is considered negative when the company's annual earnings per share is negative. Furthermore, the company's indicated dividend yield should not exceed 10% on the rebalancing reference date. So why invest in UK dividend aristocrats and what are the benefits? Income generation. UK dividend aristocrats are renowned for their ability to generate a consistent and reliable source of income. For income focused investors, this is a paramount advantage. The regular dividend payments can supplement other income sources, making them especially appealing to retirees or those seeking steady cash flow. Unlike relying solely on capital gains, which can be unpredictable and market dependent, dividends offer a more dependable stream of income. Investors can count on these payments as a source of financial support, helping to cover living expenses, reinvest in the market or simply enjoy a more secure financial position. Long term growth potential. Beyond providing income, UK dividend aristocrats often exhibit long-term growth potential. These companies have a proven track record of success and stability. Their ability to consistently grow dividends over 25 years or more indicates financial strength and management quality. As such, investors can benefit from not only the income, but also from potential capital appreciation. These companies are well positioned for growth in the long run, which can lead to an increase in the stock's value over time. This dual benefit provides investors with a means to achieve both income and wealth accumulation. Risk mitigation. The historical trend of increasing dividends suggests financial stability and resilience. Companies that can weather economic downturns and still increase payouts are often better equipped to face challenges. This resilience translates to lower investment risk. In times of market volatility or economic uncertainty, UK dividend aristocrats can act as a safe haven within a portfolio. The dependable income stream and a track record of consistency can provide a sense of security for investors reducing anxiety during turbulent market conditions. In conclusion, investing in UK dividend aristocrats offers a comprehensive set of benefits for investors. They provide a dependable source of income, the potential for long-term growth, risk mitigation, and an opportunity to enhance portfolio diversification. These benefits make UK dividend aristocrats a prestigious and well-rounded option for those seeking a balanced and reliable investment strategy. How did I build this portfolio? Creating a successful dividend aristocrats portfolio involves a structured approach that can help you maximise the benefits of these promising investment opportunities. Here are the key steps I considered to build this little template portfolio of UK dividend aristocrats framed in a way that can help you if you wanted to make your own. Stock selection. Identify and research. Begin by identifying potential dividend aristocrats in the UK market. Look for publicly traded companies with an established track record of raising dividends for seven or more consecutive years. Online stock screeners, financial reports and investment news can be valuable resources here. Historical dividend increases. Examine the history of dividend increases for each company. The longer the streak, generally speaking, the better. Analyzing financial statements, earnings reports and management discussions can help you assess their ability to maintain consistent dividend growth. Financial health. Evaluate the financial health of the companies you're considering. Key financial metrics such as the debt to equity ratio, cash flow and dividend payout ratio can help you determine if the company can sustain its dividend growth. Diversification. Spread the investments around different sectors and industries. Diversification is a fundamental strategy for managing risk. By spreading your investments across various sectors and industries, you reduce your vulnerability to sector-specific market fluctuations. The diverse nature of your holdings 
ensures that even if one industry experiences a downturn, your portfolio's performance won't be overly affected. This safeguards your investments and maintains a degree of stability in your portfolio. Okay, let's see the stocks. Smith & Nephew PLC, ticker symbol SN. Smith & Nephew PLC and its subsidiaries are global leaders in creating and selling medical devices and services. They focus on three main areas, orthopedics, sports medicine and ENT, and advanced wound management. Their offerings include sports medicine equipment, advanced wound care products, and regenerative medicine items. Established in 1856, the company is headquartered in Watford, UK, and serves healthcare providers worldwide. BAE Systems PLC, BA, ticker symbol BA. BAE Systems PLC is a global leader in defense, aerospace, and security solutions, organized into five key segments, electronic systems, cyber and intelligence, platforms and services, air and maritime. They offer electronic and communication systems, cybersecurity, combat vehicles, aircraft and naval systems. Founded in 1970 and headquartered in Farnborough, UK, they serve national security and defense agencies worldwide. Drax Group PLC, ticker symbol DRX. Drax Group PLC is a UK-based renewable power generation company with three key segments, pellet production, generation and customers. They produce biomass pellets, supply renewable power to the grid, and provide electricity and gas to non-domestic customers. Drax operates power stations as well as hydroelectric stations. Additionally, they process sludge into low-odor fuel pellets and produce wood pellets. Established in 2005, the company is headquartered in Selby, UK. Unilever PLC, ticker symbol ULVR. Unilever PLC is a global consumer goods giant known for its diverse segments, beauty and well-being, personal care, home care, nutrition, and ice cream. Their offerings span hair care, skin care, oral care, soap, fabric care, and hygiene products. And in the nutrition category, you'll find popular brands like Ben & Jerry's and Knorr. Unilever's impressive brand portfolio includes Dove, Lipton, and Hellman's. Established in 1860, the company is headquartered in London, UK. Big Yellow Group PLC, BYG. Big Yellow Group is a top self-storage company in the UK with 108 stores, including 24 branded as Armadillo self-storage. They're planning 11 more Big Yellow facilities, totaling 0.9 million square foot of space, adding to their existing 6.3 million square foot currently. Their modern, well-located facilities, excellent customer service and sustainability efforts make them a standout name in the UK self-storage industry. National Grid PLC, ticker symbol NG. National Grid is a company specialising in electricity, gas transmission and distribution. They operate in the UK, handling electricity transmission, distribution and supply and demand balance, as well as providing services in New England and New York in the United States. They're involved in electricity interconnectors, LNG importation, renewable energy products and property leasing and sales, along with insurance activities in the UK. The company was founded in 1990 and is headquartered in London, United Kingdom. Legal & General Group PLC, ticker symbol LGEN. Legal & General Group is a London-based insurance company with a wide range of services, including annuities, investment management, investment strategy, protection products, savings, mortgages, real estate, and more. Their diverse offerings cater to various segments and have been established since 1836. British American Tobacco PLC, ticker symbol BATS, or BATS. British American Tobacco is a global company based in London, United Kingdom, with a history dating to 1902. They provide a wide variety of tobacco and nicotine products encompassing vapour, heated tobacco, modern oral nicotine products, cigarettes and oral snuff. Their brands such as Views, Kent, Lucky Strike, Pall Mall, Camel and more are distributed through retail outlets worldwide. IG Group Holdings PLC, ticker symbol IGG. IG Group Holdings, headquartered in London, UK, and founded in 1974, is a global fintech company focused on online trading. Their services include over-the-counter derivatives such as contracts for difference, CFD, stock trading, investment services, educational content, and exchange-traded derivatives through brands like TastyTrade and Spectrum. They provide traders with risk mitigation tools and various other financial services. Croda International PLC, ticker symbol CRDA. Croda International PLC, headquartered in Goole, UK, has been in operation since 1925, engaging in fragrances, flavours and seed enhancement globally. They operate through three main segments, consumer care, life sciences and industrial specialties. Experian PLC, ticker symbol EXPN. Experian PLC, a global technology company founded in 1826 and headquartered in Dublin, Ireland, 
We're practicing two main segments, business to business and consumer services. They specialize in data-driven services, including credit risk assessment, fraud prevention, and identity management, serving various industries. They also provide consumer services like credit education and free credit reports. Diageo PLC, ticker symbol DGE. Diageo PLC is a global leader in alcoholic beverage production, marketing, and sales. They offer a variety of alcoholic drinks and non-alcoholic products, including well-known brands like Johnny Walker, Guinness, and Smirnoff. Established in 1886, the company is headquartered in London, UK. The portfolio. So those are the stocks in the portfolio. Let's see what it looks like when we put them all together. I decided to market weight the portfolios, and this will probably be the biggest question asked when it lands on Trading 2 on 2 Pi Library, as the allocations might look a little bit weird. Because the ad classifiers are only based on the number of years of dividend growth, it makes for unusual mismatch of company sizes. Therefore, in my opinion, it makes more sense to market weight the stocks in the pie rather than equally weight the tiny ones with the huge mega caps. This obviously took more time to do it this way, but it means that the investment won't be overwhelmed by movements in the smaller cap stocks. For the UK dividend aristocrats, here's what the pie looks like. So an average annual return over the last five years of 5.77% and 12 slices in total. And for those who will inevitably ask, here's the yield, at the time of making the video at least. Remember, the yield changes a little every time the market opens. So at the time of making the pie, the yield was 4.7%. If you want to see this pie in real life, then you can follow the link in the pinned comment. On top of that, I asked Trading212 if they could give me a unique code that you guys can simply type into the promo code section. So if you've opened a new account recently or are planning to open an account, here it is. DIV. EXP or DIVXP, short for the Dividend Experiment. So you have 10 days from opening your account to type this in and receive free fractional share worth up to £100. I also get something as this is my custom code, so this helps you support the channel too. It's a win-win really. One thing to remember is that if you do open an account, as with all investments, your capital is at risk. Investments can fall and rise, and you may get back less than you invested. Finally, as I know this will get asked, will I be maintaining this pie? Obviously, as I've said before, these pies take a lot of hard work to create and maintain, if you're taking it seriously, so I'll be maintaining the pies in this series as long as there is significant support from the community. Unfortunately, if only a small number of people support the pie, I'm better off focusing on things you like more. You should see this pie more of an example of a certain type of dividend paying stock rather than a comprehensive portfolio for you to invest in. Check out the other videos in the series and take a guess which one will perform the best. If you liked this video, and if you made it this far, I'm guessing you probably did, then I have some good news for you. I'm giving away my PDF guide to the 10 dividend investing commandments, or the criteria that I use to pick dividend paying stocks, and I'm giving it away to you for free. All you need to do is submit your email in the link below, and it'll get delivered to your inbox straight away. Again, that's for free. But that's not the only benefit of joining the email. You also get updates on the almost daily dividend portfolio, interesting stock ideas or news, and special deals and free stuff that I can share with you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. See you!